Okay, so I wanted to just do a quick tutorial in case uh, you need to know how to install the data analysis uh, pack on Excel or you want to know how to open Excel or you want a quick tutorial on how to do descriptive statistics. This one is much shorter. This video is much shorter than the full lesson, okay? So to start with, you have to open Excel. If you don't know how to open Excel, you can go down here to type here to search. And you, well, you can see sometimes you'll have uh, Excel up here if you've used it before. Um, but if you've never used it, then down here, you're going to type in E-X-C-E-L. Now, I want to warn you here. You can see that Excel comes up. But do you see this Excel mobile? Leave that alone. Do not use Excel mobile. You have to use the full Excel uh, app. Okay, so we're going to click on that. Now you can see that I have Excel pinned down here on my taskbar. And if you right click, uh, I would have to sit, hit unpin from ta taskbar, but you'll see pin to taskbar. If you pin it to the taskbar, it'll be easier to open up. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a blank worksheet. Now, right now I act actually have the data analysis pack installed, but let's say you're in a situation where you do not. So I go up to data here and you can see I have over here analysis and I have data analysis. But if you have not installed this, or sometimes all by itself, it'll just uninstall for some weird reason. So every single time you go in to use Excel, you might have to uh, reload the data analysis pack. So here's what you have to do. Sometimes there's this glitch on computers uh, where you have to go to file. This is the process for installing data analysis pack but it's also the process for fixing it if it's not showing. You're gonna to go to File, then down here you're gonna to go to, well, normally we see Options down here. We're gonna to go to More, and what we need is Options. Now yours might just show Options down here, so we'll hit Options, and then we're gonna go down here to Add Ins, and then usually have to wait a few seconds. Then down here under Manage, you see Excel Add Ins. We're gonna hit Go, and then this will come up. Now. If this is check mark, if analysis tool pack, you want to ignore these other three things. If especially this analysis tool pack VBA, just leave that alone. We want analysis tool pack, typically the first one. If it's checked here, but you're not showing the data analysis up here, uncheck it and hit OK. What that's going to do is it's going to uninstall the data analysis tool pack. Now you can see if I go to data, I have no data analysis here. I can't do any data analysis. So now what I have to do to install the data analysis pack uh, is I have to go to File, then down here to Options. Then I have to select Add-ins, then Manage Excel Add-ins, Go. Then I'll click Analysis Tool Pack, OK. And now you can see I now have the data analysis tool pack, OK? All right, so that's a quick tutorial on how to install the data analysis tool pack. Now, let's say that we're going to, we want to do some descriptive statistics. So uh, here's what we have to do to do descriptive statistics. We have to create a column of the numbers. So let's say that on a piece of paper or in a quiz question, I have a, what's called a, a data set. And let's say these are all the numbers. Let's say we've got 23 and, and I got to, you have to enter them in col columns. 28, 23 again, 22, 24. Uh, let's say some of them are decimal, like, you know, 27.9 and uh, 28.4 and 24.1 and 25.7 and another 25.7. And let's say a 26 and then a 28.9. And this is our data set. Let's say these are all the numbers that we have. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to data, then we're going to come over here to data analysis, and then we're going to select descriptive statistics, then we're going to click OK. Now for input range, we want to, I usually click on this, um, this arrow right here or this little thing over here, and then I go over to my data and I highlight all the numbers. Then I can click this or I can press the enter button and, it, and now it's in and I'm telling it that the data is in columns. You can also have the data in rows, but I usually put them in columns. So it's in columns. This don't check this unless you have a label in the first row. If the first row says like X values, 
you can click labels in first row, but I don't have any labels, okay? I just have numbers. It usually gives you new worksheet, uh, meaning it's gonna open up a new worksheet, uh, but I usually just want it to put the output within this worksheet. So I hit output range, then I click on this, and I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna click maybe right here and press enter. And now down here, I'm gonna say summary statistics. Then I hit okay, and bam, there's all of my um, all of my statistics. Now, sometimes what you may have to do is see the one where the numbers are? You might have to uh, make the column wider. The way you make the column wider, any column, you can grab the little line between the two letters, this line, and then hold down uh, the left click and it'll and it'll change the width of the column. You can make it any width that you want. And the reason that you may need to make it wider is so that you can see more of the digits. See standard deviation uh, in the quiz, I tell you to round to four decimal places. So this would be 2.359, but instead of 92, it would become 93 because right here, 3592. I'm rounding, but the 2 is going to be rounded about because of this 9, it's going to become a 3. So this will be 2.3593. Here's the mean, here's the median, here's the variance, here's the n, and here's the range. Okay. All right. So that's a, just a, okay. So that's just a quick tutorial on how to install the data analysis pack and how to do descriptive statistics.